Howdy folks, Creepy Kentucky in here with you from deadpit.com. We have a real fun one to take a look at today. One that goes down memory lane with the Creepy Kentucky in here at deadpit.com. Anybody that remembers the series Creepy's Crappy Movie Reviews will recall this movie because this was one of my all-time favorite movies as a kid. This thing was played almost nonstop on HBO. And people either know about this movie or they don't. And thankfully, finally, after 15, 16 years, this thing is finally getting another disc release. MGM released this thing on DVD in 2005. It went quickly out of print and has not been seen since. But thanks to the good folks over at Kino slash Code Red, we have the Blu-ray edition of Don't Tell Her It's Me. Anyone out there that's a fan of this, the day they announced this, they got all giggly inside, me included. I was so excited to finally get the 1080p version of this on Blu-ray. It had been many years since I'd seen it. I never owned it on DVD or anything, and it was going for a pretty good amount of money there for a while. But finally, this early 90s romantic comedy is now out for everyone to enjoy. Give you a little bit of backstory on this. You know, this was made in 1990. Stars Jamie Gertz and Steve Gutenberg, Shelley Long, and Kyle McLaughlin from Twin Peaks fame, yes. The whole story of the movie revolves around the lead character played by Gutenberg there, Gus, who falls in love with Emily, played by Jamie Gertz's character. I think the story is Gus had cancer, Hodgkin's disease, or something like that, and he lost all his hair, and he was swelled up and everything, and uh, Emily was just not, you know, not having it. I mean, he was a good guy, but she was not attracted to Gus, and that brings us to Shelley Long's character, Lizzie, which is Gus's sister, who is a romance novelist, and she decides to help transforms him to, into a real-life hunk from her romance novels. And, of course, the transformation is upon us. He's got the Billy Ray Cyrus mullet going on there. And, um, yeah, so it's one of those type of movies. Very dated, very cheesy, tongue-in-cheek, a lot of, like, I think his character in it, they created this character that was from New Zealand who... Uh, is a biker that has a mega mullet, which would go over really well in 2022 Eastern Kentucky. And she immediately falls in love, but Gus is conflicted because, you know, it's not him, it's Lobo Marumba. <laughs> so very goofy, um, but it's a whole hell of a lot of fun. I actually grew up with this movie and it'd been many years since I'd seen it. Not a horror movie at all. Uh, it is a brand new Blu-ray edition though. This was a Hemdale movie by way of Orion Pictures and Kino has a really good knack of getting some of these movies that have not been released uh, on anything in years. And this is a good example. Um, proud edition to the non-horror collection in the other room. I gotta say, you know, the, the transfer on this, eh, it's pretty good. It's a 2K restoration. Um, you can tell like the, I don't know if they mastered it from a 35 millimeter print. Um, it looks that way to me. Um, it, it definitely, um, I mean, it looks good. It, it probably looks as best as it ever did, but you know, who knows what the masters are like or if they're even still around for a movie like Don't Tell Her It's Me. Um, but it is a brand new 2K Master. They did note that on the back of the disc. There's really no other special features on this. The only thing is the alternate title opening for the alternate name for this is The Boyfriend School, which all the times I saw it on HBO, it was Don't Tell Her It's Me. 
all the times at the video store that I saw it on VHS, it was Don't Taylor It's Me. I'm not sure if it was in maybe England. It was uh, the boyfriend school, but that's a shitty fucking name. And I always hated that name. The DVD that MGM released, it was released under the name The Boyfriend School. Again, I have no idea why. Um, now, there are a bunch of trailers added in this, and including a very bizarre movie that I need to watch from like the early 70s called Puff and Stuff. It's like the closest thing that I've ever seen to being higher than a kite without you know, pulling a drag or anything. But anyway, uh, Don't Tell Her It's Me, it just recently came out on Blu-ray, and it's kind of a no-frills edition. There's not a whole lot of special features. There is a reversible cover for anyone who is interested. If you know the movie as The Boyfriend School, I do not, but... That is, oddly enough, that's the VHS cover, which I like, but it's the Boyfriend School cover on here. Who knows? Who knows? I am forever going to call this movie Don't Tell Her It's Me. Before we end the review, I've got to go, shh, don't tell her it's me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check out Don't Tell Her It's Me. It is out now, and check us out. Over at deadpits.com. Give us the thumbs up. Up your butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do. I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Let's keep our community growing here on YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to touch nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you dare yeah. touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. Before this video officially ends, old Curly Jaws has a message for you. Go on over to shop.deadpit.com and go look at their team public store right now got some new shirts like the Oak Early Jaws official t-shirt which is brutal and badass. You got the Gummy Gummy shirt with the captain himself on the shirt. The people, you got Uncle Bill's face on a fucking shirt. You got the Final Girl shirt. You got all these shirts over at chop.deadpit.com. Get them before they're all out, especially the new one, Bedtime 1039. It doesn't get better than that, so go on out. Check out these shirts at shop.deadpit.com. Go look at their team public store. You're going to have a good old time. Get them all. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Deadpit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tiers start at only $1.